guys, so I'm here to show you a new program I just made. It's called the Ghost Fact Sound Effects Machine. Uh, yeah. So it's based off of the Remco Sound Effects Machine, which is probably one of the stupidest toys ever made. What it is is it's a Texas Instruments SN764477 chip been put in this little plastic box and it's got a cardboard back and it's got all these knobs on it. Uh, each knob controls a pin on this chip and this chip was the one that made the uh, annoying noises in the Space Invaders game so I guess the gimmick of this toy was you can make your own annoying noises at home. So I don't know what parents would buy this um, but nowadays you know people like it, people like the chips it's got a 10 out of 10 out of 10 in the uh, miniorgan.com ranking. So anyway, here's my version of it. Uh, this is done using pure data, which I've shown in previous videos. Um, but the cool thing is it's, it's wrapped up in a little app using a toolkit called Juice. So you don't see any of the gross uh, PD stuff. So anyway, let's turn it on. You can hear it now in the background. Then for a demo, um, I've got the original manual here. I thought I might try recreating some of the sounds that they say you can make in the uh, with the original Remco version. <coughs> some of the knobs are a little bit different, um, so you might see me making adjustments that aren't quite what they say, but hopefully the sound will be pretty close. Um, these switches, if you're going to follow along at home, these switches on the top are backwards. Some of the knobs are backwards too. You'll see that the um, the range knob is over here, and the high low knob is over here for the tone. So I've switched that one, and some of the highs and lows are reversed. So you got to use your use your judgment. So now here's the steam train traveling and in station. So you got to try to get a nice steam sound with, with the sound control. And then the speed control controls how fast it's going. So at that point it's really traveling and then and there's probably more in station. Okay, let's do the uh, French police siren moan here. Okay, so then the range is up a little bit. Oh, there we go. So there's the police siren moan of the French variety. And then this one I like. It's probably the hardest one to get right. It's it's the Indy 500 race cars passing at 203 miles per hour. So this is a one-shot effect, so you've got to turn the one-shot on. Um, and then it, you've got to change the fade-out control. And with the one-shot, when it's on, you you press the activator button to, to make the noise. So let's let's try to get this effect dialed in here. So I'm just following along with the uh, the directions in the manual. Mm. That's not quite right. Oh, there we go. Did you hear that? So when I click on the activator, it starts the noise. And you've got to keep the mouse held down until the end of it. Yeah, so maybe that's a little bit lower. So maybe that's Indy 500 race cars passing at like, you know, 206 miles per hour, but it's pretty close, you get the idea. Alright, let's just do one more. Some of these eventually get pretty wild. So let's do uh, Bionic Strength, which is like, you know, lifting weights or something. So. Alright, so that's faster. That's okay. right. So there's the bionic strength noise. Cool! Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, you can download this at my blog, ghostfact.com. It's actually the blog of me and my roommates. One of my roommates did the UI, and then the uh, icon was done by my friend Kate. 
Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.